Hello, how is everyone? So let's do a craft. I don't know if I'm gonna be real good about painting this. Not real good about painting it, but I don't know if I'm gonna be good. I don't know if I can paint it. That's that's what I'm trying to say. It's what I'm trying to get out of my pie hole because painting is not my thing. Like I'm painting my bathroom right now as that is my thing, but painting things like this, like designs on things, but you never know till you try it, right? So I'm gonna paint a pumpkin on a spoon. I got the spoon at the Dollar Tree. I like them for another craft I'm going to do because they already have a hole in the bottom. But for this one, I'm going to stand it up like this in my utensil thing, okay? I saw one, an, a utensil thing, and it had a whole bunch of these painted with all different, like, the um, monster, you know, what do you call that guy? The green with the black, Frankenstein? Yeah, that's what it's called. And a ghost and a pumpkin and like a mummy, any scarecrow, all kinds of cute things. And I thought, well, gosh, that would be cute, wouldn't it? If I can paint this, then maybe I will um, try to branch out and paint other things. I was, I was looking to see if my paint tray was over here, but I don't believe it is. So we're just going to squeeze it right on here, okay? Okay. And then we're going to take a fancy paintbrush and we're going to paint. Now, the ones I saw did not have the entire spoon painted it was just painted up like this because really the bottom's not going to show but i will put a stain on the bottom and then we'll put a bow around it so it won't look so completely unfinished but i just i just thought they were too cute i saw them on pinterest and i thought well i can maybe i can do this now, my door has hardly been open today, so how has the fly gotten in? Please tell me, how do they get in when you hardly even open your doors? The painter has been here. Well, I did open it, I guess, this morning and let them out, but it was 30-something degrees outside. I really didn't think flies were out when it's that cold. What do I know? Now, look, don't get mad at me when I say this. I want one hard freeze for about three days to kill bugs. Does that happen? Is that a for real thing? Do they really die when it, when you have a hard freeze? Because I feel like bugs are bigger in the South because, <laughs> this is just my logic, because they don't die off in the winter. And and maybe they're like bears and they just hibernate and eat and all, eat and eat and neat all winter, okay, oh, they eat all winter, and they just keep growing, because everybody knows Florida and Texas, and probably Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, we have the biggest bugs. Uh, my good friend Trina, her fiance, my fiance, anybody watch Seinfeld? My fiance, anyway, her fiance, uh, he lives in Michigan, and he doesn't like the bugs here. I mean, really, who does? I, th I feel like they're bigger because they never really die off. They just keep growing. That's just my thoughts on it. Less, I believe it was Jamie's video on Suits to Boots for, for the I'm a Survivor fans. She videoed the cat with a one of the biggest grasshoppers I've ever seen in my life. That thing was flipping huge. I don't, I don't know. That's just my logic. Do y'all have any logic to go along with that? Also, the monkey sound that I heard in the woods yesterday, someone told me, well, several people told me in the comments that it is a pileated woodpecker. And as far as I know, it's the biggest woodpecker that there is. And it probably stands, I'm guessing... Just a guess, I'd say 18 to 24 inches tall. They're huge. They're huge. So I was really excited that that could be what it is, but this morning I didn't hear it or get to see it. So the paint color I'm using is called Burnt Orange 
by Craft Smart. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's a Walmart product, but any deep orange will work. I'm also gonna put my Chalk Dark Wax over it all when I'm finished. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this for a second. I'm gonna stop filming while I do this because it's very loud and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put two coats on because the first coat didn't quite cover it and I should not have turned this on because it's not quite dry yet, but stand by. It doesn't take long with this thing. You know it's time to stop when it starts blistering the paint. Mm -hmm, yeah, that's when you know it's time to stop. Okay, so now it's dry. Okay, it's dry. Now we're gonna use black paint, which is Home Decor Chalk Rich Black from Hobby Lobby. Doesn't matter, black paint is black paint. I prefer chalk paint. Drives fast, drives. Mm. It doesn't drive. It dries faster, but uh, I just like it. I just like it. So for a good old pumpkin, we're just gonna draw. We're just gonna go back to our elementary school days. And we're gonna draw triangles. People say, I can't draw. Can't you draw a triangle? Come on, come on now. I probably will mess this up now that I've said that. So I am going to, just gonna go for it. Just go for it. And I'm using a very thin tipped brush. My problem is when I get to the other side, trying to keep them the same. Cause one will end up lower or higher or bigger. Okay, they're going at an uphill, uphill slant, but that's okay. You know what? I'm gonna lay that one down. I'm gonna get another one because it's not good for feel, fee, feeling in, feeling in. So I'm gonna get another one like that for feeling in because that one is just really best for drawing. Draw, you know, tra drawing, tracing, I don't know. We'll use this one for feeling in. I don't know why I can't say feeling today, but feeling. Okay, 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 look at there. Look at there, we got an eye. It might need bigger eyeballs, I don't know. Let's come down a little bit. Let's make them a little bit bigger. And I'm doing it with the wrong paintbrush, which probably means I'm gonna mess it up. I think your paintbrush is the secret sometimes to painting. For me especially, I get lazy. And they don't have to be perfect. You know, you could probably draw them off with pencils or with a pencil, not multiple pencils. And have better luck. You could be more asymmetrical with pencils. Okay, I mean, it's not terrible, right? It's probably not centered, but it's not terrible. Let's do a nose. Now the nose I'll do upside down. And then for a mouth, I just saw one that was just kind of wavy lines. And I kind of liked it better than the big open toothy. Okay, for now, I'm gonna stop and let this dry and uh oh one eye is bigger than the other then i'm going to come back and put in some highlights in the eyes to give him a little more expression and on the lip and maybe on the nose i don't know and then we'll put a little bow around his neck it's going to be a super easy super easy craft now y'all if y'all can't draw something like that come on now you can probably do it better than me because i keep looking at it and and it's it's not good. I, for one, won't be selling him. So does it really matter if it's perfect? Because he'll just be in my little utensil pottery thing, standing there smiling. So it's cool. That looks better. All right, I'm gonna let him dry for a little bit and, uh, and then we'll be back to finish this up. Super easy. He'll get a little bow around his neck and he'll be done. I'll be back. I'm gonna use yellow, cause a lot of people go in and put white. They call a catch light in photography. It's called a catch light. But when you look at someone's photo, you want to see a catch light. And it's where the light reflects in the person's eyes. And it, it makes the person look like they're, you know, alive. <laughs> so in painting, you do the same thing. You do a catch light. A lot of people use white, which on normal paintings I would too paintings like I'm a like I'm a painter um, 
but on this painting, on this genuine Tracy Tries painting, I'm going to use yellow. And you know what? I just got you. Why did I get? Oh, there's, there's the wet paint right there. Oh, where'd you come from? Darn it. I've got, I've got orange paint all over me. Well, anyway, I'm going to use yellow and I'm going to use yellow because it, I hope, this may be where I mess it up. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping it will look like it's glowing. Like there's a candle inside. Like there's a candle inside the spoon glowing. <laughs> I don't know where this orange paint came from, but it is all over me. I mean, this thing was dry, so I don't know. So anyway, for a catch light, I mean, it's just tiny. It's kind of, you don't want to go too, too big with your catch light. How many times can I say catch light in a video? I don't know. Probably a lot. See, I just did it too much. And now, and now I'm going to have to go back and fix it. But that's fine. It's fine. And then on your other eyeball, you always want to do it on the same side. Because the light is going to hit the eyeball on the same side. Now, I messed up that one. I'll have to go back and fix it. But do you see how it kind of looks like it's glowing rather than just white? I'm going to do the same thing in the nose because... These are supposed to represent holes, right? In a pumpkin. And what do you put inside a pumpkin? A candle. Duh. Now on his lips, I'm just going to trace them with yellow. I'm just going to hopefully, carefully, trace them with yellow. And I'm just barely tapping this as I go. I'm trying not to paint, but rather just tap inside the line because I'm afraid if I try to paint, I'm gonna mess it up. But if I just take a little bit of paint and just tap it, I don't think it will mess it up. I don't know, that's my logic. So I'm just getting a teeny amount of black on here and I'm gonna hopefully correct my little oopsie. Paint is very forgiving. It's just very forgiving. Unless you spill it all over the floor and then it's not so forgiving. Not that I would have ever done anything like that. Isn't it cute? All right, so now I'm done with the painting. Ah, I got paint all over me. I'm gonna let this dry real good before I come back and put a coat of the dark wax on it so I will be back because I, I don't want to mess it up at this point so I'll be right back okay now we're gonna take the chalk chalk mm -hmm, huh Howard chalk teak dark paste wax from Amazon I'm going to take an old washcloth that I use for things such as this and I'm going to rub the entire stick, not just where I painted, just to darken that up a little bit. This is a stain, but it's, it's a wax stain, so it gives your project a little bit of a shine when it's through, which is what I like. Not only does it darken it up a little bit, but it gives it a nice shine. So I really like using this stuff. You might can find this at your local Ace Hardware. I think mine used to carry it or something similar, but they stopped carrying it, so I just found it on Amazon. See how much better it looks? It just looks a little more finished when you rub that stuff on it. And that's it, that's all you do. Okay, so then what I want to do for the final piece is take some raffia and just tie it right here around his neck. Okay, I'm gonna have to glue it down because it's not wanting to cooperate. You know what, let's, let's take a few strands out. Let's make it not so thick. Let's maybe only use four strands and see what that looks like. Because maybe that was just too thick. And maybe not tie a bow. Let's see how it looks if I, uh-oh, uh-oh, missed a strand. You know what, we'll just leave it off. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. 
That is just too cute. I am gonna turn on my glue gun and add just a dot of glue to keep it from sliding up and down. I'm gonna put a little dot of glue also to hold these things down more like that. Isn't that cute? Now, can you imagine a whole little urn full of these things? Wouldn't that be cute? You could do different designs. I saw it on Pinterest and like I said, just type in fall or Halloween painted spoons and a ton of ideas come up. They had Frankenstein and mummies and pumpkins and scarecrows and all kinds of stuff. So I might, I may try to do more. I, I'm, I mean, even though this looks like grade A artist work, uh, I, yeah, this is about as difficult as I can get. So anyway, I will, uh, I will glue this down and we will call this project done. But next time I do a craft, I want to do the gnome spoon that I did the other day and I got this idea from the turquoise valentine she did it I think it was yesterday's video and I asked her if I could copy it and she said of course and I told her of course that I would recommend you know you follow her page she does some really great crafts so anyway we'll do that on on the next video yeah, that's it. I just wanted to do another fall video because, or a Halloween video, because, hey, we are coming up to, it's almost to Halloween, so it's time to move on, and um, I, if I could think of a turkey craft to do, I would do a turkey craft, but we may sh move straight to Christmas, and I'm sorry to those who are not ready for that, but if you're going to do crafts, you got to start early and now it's now the time is now thanks for joining me and i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you on the next tracy tries remember i love you jesus loves you he's coming back soon talk to you later love you mean it goodbye